but this next game we need to address because I we both picked the wrong team on this one, apparently. The Broncos ran the Bucks out of their own home. Like, yeah. I don't know what happened here. Um and the quarterback didn't even score any touchdowns. Well, yes, he yeah. did. He got one. Well, he got he one. He ran, ran in for one. one. But they kicked one, two, three, four field goals. It's crazy. So, you already know my issue with this off the rip. Bo Nix threw for over 200 yards and didn't score any touchdowns off the passing. Yeah. I have a problem with that. that. That's an automatic red flag for me. Somehow he uh, ran for 47 yards. Yeah, I mean, and if you throw in a yard together, you're over, you're over 250, 260 with one touchdown. That's a problem for me. I'm sorry. That, that's too many yards to not be scoring. Yeah, you won I the game. It looks like you won in spite of your throwing ability. That's that's a problem. I see why Tampa Bay lost. We'll, we'll get to it. Oh, Lord Jesus. That's why I'm looking at the number. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking uh, at the best two players' numbers. It's not good enough. No, they not. Ain't no way. Mike Evans is at 17 yards. That's why you lost the game. And Chris Godwin's at 53 yards. Yeah, that's how you lose. Both of them are 100-yard players per game. That, that that's, that's, that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. And Baker. You know what? I can tell you. I, I know what happened. They took him for granted. They did. They did. Because, like, we at home, we're playing the Broncos. They had to. They, that's the only, I'm going to let you have that because that's the only thing that makes sense to me. I'm not saying, like, you know, apparently the Broncos had a really good defense, too, that game. It must but have been that's not way. a – we're not expecting anything from the Broncos this year. I have that's zero expectations. One, they're probably going to get three, four wins all year, so. I'm just mad that I was wrong about to pick. Because that – yeah, that shouldn't happen. They happened. broke a lot of people. If you was bad, that broke a lot of people parlay because it was a heavy favorite. Well, we, we, we felt like it was a blowout the other way around. Yeah. We, right. So had we put a parlay together, yeah, it would broke ours too. He said, "Let me win some money." <laughs> Bo Nick said, "Let me break up these parlays." Yeah, somebody made a call to Denver and said, "Y'all gotta win this game." He said, they said he part of the script. Yeah, Vegas made a phone call. <laughs> yeah, we got we got to shake this up. We ain't got that kind of money, right? So this next one was was predictable. Uh, the, we we picked the Packers over the Titans, right? Yeah, we did. I'm not picking Tennessee one. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thirty to fourteen. Um, Malik Willis. Um, his rushing actually saved what I was about to say. I was gonna say he didn't score no touchdowns for those yards, but he rushed for seventy three and got a touchdown on the ground to put with his touchdown in the air. That puts his yardage at two seventy five altogether. Thirteen mm-hmm. and nineteen, six carries. So Malik Willis actually, by his standards, had a good game. Them are really good numbers from Malik Willis, yeah. That's what I'm saying. If when you put his rushing with his passing, being yeah. a two way, being being a dual threat, to, right? I'm not expecting much anyway. But I'm saying by the games yeah. he's played so far, it's actually a good game for him. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, um, it was a revenge game, like I said. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That probably played a part. He put in that work on on them. Will Levis, on the other hand. And Tom said this a few years ago. I'm going to just reference something you used to tell me. When a quarterback goes for two touchdowns but has two picks, it do the touchdowns purpose. really count? Not really. I mean, you threw just as many picks as you threw touchdowns. That's some Jameis Winston type type vibes right there. Mm-hmm. And I can see why you lost again. Calvin really got one catch. Show number one receiver. And D Hop got 73 yards. Yeah, I mean I love D Hop, but D Hop is Calvin Ridley's on the up and D Hop is on the down. I love D Hop. <laughs> yeah, no more receivers on get one catch. You got, you gotta blow this Tennessee team up, man. The, yeah. the Tony Pollard acquisition and, and Calvin Ridley, that was just like a cash out because I don't I don't I don't see this working. Look, I love Tony Pollard, but he's he needs it's a two back system that he needs to be in. 